Lucy King joined Save the Elephants to find a way of scaring elephants away from crops. But what could an elephant be frightened of? It's the middle of the day, and the Wynn's family are dozing under a tree. Breeze doesn't look like she'll be waking up for anyone. But that might be about to change. Lucy sets up to film the wind's reaction. Then she turns on the speaker. It's playing the sound of swarming, angry honeybees. There's an instant reaction. Most of the family turn away from the sound. Harmattan takes a defensive position with Breeze at her side. Once she decides to move, the pace picks up and the winds leave in a cloud of dust. The idea of, of elephants being scared of bees is actually a Kenyan folklore. We were expecting them to react and we were expecting that they would move away from the bee sounds, but I wasn't expecting it to be quite so fast. Bees are too small to sting through an African elephant's skin, but calves have much thinner skins, and I think a, a true swarm of wild African bees would potentially sting a calf to death. As far as Harmattan's concerned, she's defending Breeze and her family against a real threat. But as soon as they can't hear the bees, they relax. African honeybees are the most dangerous in the world, but how can the elephant's fear be used to help people and elephants live together? Lucy and Anesmus have seen the devastation caused by crop raiding elephants. They think they may be able to help the villagers. Lucy has set up traditional beehives around one small holding. So, here we go. Here's one of the hives. Great. I know. The hives are linked with a strong wire to form a fence. If the elephant walks through, yes. it pushes it and causes both beehives to start swinging Without on either breaking side. the shade. Without breaking it. When the hives swing, it upsets the bees and they start swarming. Based on Lucy's experiments in the reserve, this sound should put the elephants off. Miner's farm is directly in the elephant's path when they come to crop raid. It was one of the worst affected, but now things have changed. He has a maize crop on his little garden, but his neighbors don't because yeah, they don't have the same setup yeah. as he's got. There's an added bonus. The farmers can harvest and sell the honey. If we can stop even 20% of these elephants coming in yes. and improve income, the income through from beehives the honey. and yes. bee and honey, yes. um, it's a win-win situation. The team's idea has worked. Using bees has stopped the elephants and given one farmer a break. It's now going to be used in other villages.